Are you tired of seeing the low battery message on your Davis Vantage View console? Have you already checked the battery and replaced it multiple times, only to find out that it keeps giving you this error message over and over again? If so, then it's time to call Davis Technical Support. Once, you, once they have diagnosed your problem and confirmed that it is a transmitter issue, they will then ship you a new transmitter. If you are still under the one year warranty, it is covered under the warranty and is free. If not, it is $160 plus return shipping. Here is the invoice. Here's the actual transmitter part. It's quite delicate. Hello everyone, we're here again with the uh, Davis Vantage View integrated sensor suite and we're about to replace the transmitter. First you have to remove the wind vane with the Allen wrench. Same tools to use to take the wind vane. Remove that. Next you have to remove the cover the, with four Phillips head screws. Next, you have to remove the sensor cable tray. Un First, you have to unscrew the screw that holds the sensor cable tray in place. Then once you have it off, you have to remove the solar panel cabling, connecting the solar panel to the transmitter. Then to remove the original transmitter, unscrew the two screws that secure it in place and lift the transmitter unit out. Okay, to install the new transmitter when replacing it, ensure that the Hall Effect sensor, the wind direction, is properly laid in its place before seating the new transmitter. Reinsert the two securing screws and tighten. Then next you have to reattach the solar panel cable. And it's important to connect the correct wire to the correct terminal terminal in the solar panels. One of the wires should be marked with a positive sign. After you have attached the solar panel, put it back in its holder. Reinsert the screws and tighten. Then once it is all in place, put the cover back on. Once you have all screws in place, reinstall the wind vane and the wind cups. Once you have finished installing the new transmitter in your Vantage View integrated sensor suite unit, you do have to change the channel on the console. To do this, first you go into setup mode. You press second and then setup. You cycle through the screens until you see receiving from. And we just passed it so we have to go back again. Once you get the receiving from screen, you must wait until you see a signal. Although it may not appear, and if it doesn't appear, just proceed to the next screen. In this case, 8 is on. We will turn that off, and we should be receiving some at 3, so we will turn that on. To exit setup mode, just press and hold the done key, and there you go. It's all fixed. We should not see an 
a low battery indicator. Keep in mind that the sensors that have dashes on them should reappear within a few seconds just as you see right there.